name is Alexi Saznov, and like some of you, I enjoy courtroom TV. Judge Judy, Judge Mathis, my favorite, especially when they get on rants. Man, I get the popcorn ball ready, I'm digging in there, it's, it's all good. So, <clears throat> but let me quit and Tarantino that for a minute. Let's talk about what happened to me, okay? So, I'm driving down the road, I'm in a hurry, I'm going somewhere, I don't even know why I was in a hurry. Uh, so I'm driving, and I look in the rear view mirror, and guess what I saw? Police lights, right? So, some of you been there? Yes? Yeah. It's not a good feeling, because you're like, what was I doing? And most of the time, you're like, I know exactly what I was doing. <laughs> so, I've, I've been there. Because <laughs> I quickly looked down at my speed limit, or speedometer, and I was like, yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> the cop, you know, I pull over, and the police officer comes over, and it's in the middle of the night, so you can tell he's a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, so I make sure my hands are on the steering wheel, and all this so that you can see I'm, I'm good. Don't shoot me, right? So, why do I bring that up? Well, I bring that up for uh, a good reason, all right? I ended up having to go, based on my uh, confidence instilled by courtroom TV, I went and self-represented myself in the courtroom, okay? So, I want to talk to you about what I realized was maybe a bad and a good situation, and uh, ultimately, how it could be a good experience for all people to go and self-represent themselves, no matter what the ticket is, unless you committed a serious crime or you murdered somebody, then you probably ought to get a lawyer, <laughs> okay? So, there's a few reasons why you'd want to self-represent yourself, okay? One, you, it's, it's your option, it's your right, and two, um, there's a lot of benefits to it, and three, I think if we, if you, more people are doing it, then I think we could change the system of, of the courtroom system, I guess, and make it more um, people friendly uh, for self-represent, okay? So let's talk about some options, okay? So again, like I mentioned, you're, it's your option and your right to do it, okay? So according to Cornell University Law School website, okay, uh, you have the right to a speedy trial, obviously. You have, a, um, you have the right to a trial in the district where you committed the crime, okay? So where you did the crime, that's where you're going, all right? Next, you have the right to be informed of your crime and confronted by witnesses that are um, presenting the crime against you, okay? So there's also another uh, article on uh, lawyer.com. I've been to a lot of these articles, by the way. So, um, it also talks about you have the right to the Association of Counsel um, and you have the right to self-represent yourself. So you have the right to counsel. So a lot of people, they end up just letting the lawyers run with it or your counsel run with it. But it could be the other way around. They can counsel you in your proceedings. Of course, it, the judge has to approve that too, that you're confident and you can uh, represent yourself. So. That's your option, that's your rights. Now we've covered that, okay? What are the benefits? Why would you wanna do that, okay? Um, I think there's maybe, outside of courtroom TV, there may be a little lack of the courtroom proceedings, or really most people don't care, for one big reason. Most people don't wanna to try to commit court, uh, crimes and go to the court. So, uh, but you do get everybody, for the most part, some at some point in their life got pulled over or got in trouble with Officer. Not that we're bad people, we just bad situations happen sometimes. Okay, so so you get a better idea of the courtroom system and the proceedings. Okay, um, you're also one of the things is sometimes the lawyer doesn't have your best interest at heart. Okay, because they're there to quickly go through a case and close it and move on to the next one. You're there to make sure that you're either found innocent or the punishment is very, very, very limited. So if you can add a continuance for the rest of the courtroom and never show up or never have to, um, you know, get found guilty if that's, the, if that's in the cards, then that's probably what most people will do. But a lawyer probably doesn't want to do that. They want to close this case and move on, which means they come to some agreement that maybe you just accept at the end of it. So, <clears throat> Plus, you're gonna know the details of what happened. You know, how many times you try to explain something in detail, what happened, and you're like, oh, this or that, you know, I forgot to mention this, or that's not the way it happened. So your lawyer's gonna have to be presenting that. So it may be in your best interest to represent yourself, okay? So there's an article 
uh, talking about advantages and disadvantages of pro C criminal representation. Pro C is self representation. It's talking about defendants hesitate to work with lawyers because they don't trust attorneys. Um, and also, you save money. Okay, there's another article on finelaw.com. Um, high cost of le legal representation lends to self representation. So, and then there's more to that article, but that was the gist of it. Okay. So those are some benefits, okay? Why would we want to do all that? Um, I think we're gonna, if mo more people do that, then we are gonna change the courtroom system, all right? And what are we talking about? What kind of changes are we talking about? Um, there's a great article on National Center for State, for, uh, National Center for State for Courts, okay? The court-based um, court self-help programs is another way to change the program. Um, there's self-help websites, uh, there will be um, maybe possibly set of clinics and workshops to, to get people more involved to represent themselves if you find yourself in that situation. Okay, so now that we've covered options, um, benefits, and um, how that could change the courtroom system, um, hopefully if you ever get in trouble like me, you'll go and represent yourself and guess what happened? I was found not guilty and the whole thing got dismissed because whether it wasn't my duty to find myself um, guilty, it was a courtroom. And when I challenged that, they couldn't really provide the evidence needed to prove me guilty, I guess. So, that being said, if you ever get pulled over, I'll see you in court. <laughs>